Dex Learning Center, what type of trader are you? Well, one of the biggest questions we always ask every new person that comes over is what type of trader are you? And the answer can only be arrived by you. But I can help you figure the pathway out in order to help you get there quicker. But before we do, I'm going to be talking about money to be made. And lawyers always want to have me read the disclaimer. So real quickly, I'm going to try to get to this as fast as possible. Trading in financial instruments carries a high level of risk to your capital with the possibility of losing more than your initial investment. Trading in financial instruments may not be suitable for all investors and is only intended for people over 18. Please ensure that you are fully aware of the risk involved and, if necessary, seek independent financial advice. The past or recent trading performance of any stock, security, commodity, or derivative is not necessarily indicative of future profit losses. We do not and cannot guarantee that the use of our services will guarantee you profits. We do not and cannot get, take responsibility for any losses to your accounts. You must trade and take sole responsibility to the evaluate all information provided by this website and use it at your own risk. All trading information we provide is intended and trade assistance only. Also, results may vary. With all that said, speaking about results, the first things first, you need to decide what type of results you're looking for. If you're just looking for a supplemental income between $100 to $1,000, full-time income, $1,000 to $6,000, massive wealth, $6,000 and above, just make up a number in your head at that point. What's involved to get those results? Well, of course, every person who ever trades needs money, okay? Everything needs money. Money, money's for brokers. Brokers have minimums. You have to have a certain amount in there to have a good risk management system. It's all about the money all the time, okay? Now, let's talk about time. This is the amount of time you have to trade. So, if you are a full-time student or you have a full-time job or a full-time family person and you only have a couple of hours, it's really going to depict what, how much time you can have to be able to trade. If you want to do 10 trades a day, you're going to need several hours during the day. It's not going to happen if you only have a couple of moments every day to be able to trade. Finally, you're going to need the discipline to be able to do so. In order to be successful, it is well known you have to follow guidelines. And if you can't create the rules and the filters and the processes for yourselves, you're never going to be successful. Okay? And overall, everything comes down to making the time to learn and to train. That's right. This is a little bit different than the above time. We're talking about taking the time to learn the processes and training them. Not just follow a few videos and then go trade live, but trading on your demo, trading in the process, learning what the systems are, making mistakes, and teaching yourself how to be successful and profitable. Under the supplemental income of $100 to $1,000 a month, in the part-time, you're going to have to work about one or two hours a day, okay, to get to be a, about 10 trades a week. Now, $100 to $1,000 a month is what you can normally expect right around in that process, depending on what system that you will work with, and you'll see in future videos here. You don't really need a lot of money to stake, uh, usually between about $500 to $1,000. And again, this is subjective to your situation, okay? Because in order to apply, to apply proper risk management, you don't want to have just a tiny little bit of amount and you're risking three quarters of, of your balance every time. With part-time, you are usually restricted to using a signal system or maybe a very simple strategy in order to use your cell phone or remote devices. Most part-timers claim that they can't uh, look at a screen all day long. So there are things out there that can be done and we can show you stuff inside the learning centers and what you're going to find out here shortly. Um, but it really comes back down to how much time and effort are you willing to put into the process. Full-time income of $1,000 to $6,000 a month. This is where you must begin to make arrangements for your time and your energy to be well spent in learning, training, and then trading at a full-time level. You must have the tools and resources to be able to handle losses and the skills and the discipline staking yourself about $2,000 to $4,000 amount for the deposit, okay, for your balance, for a monthly return about the same. About five to eight hours a day, 20 days a week, 20 days a month. Okay, that's about what it usually comes out to an average. If you're really one of those types of people that are looking for a massive amount of wealth, $6,000 or more, okay, just put a number out there for yourself to obtain, this is the beginning of your legacy. You have made the decision to develop your skills at the highest standards. You want to work for yourself and for your investment firm or 
for an investment firm or basically anything that's going to get you to those amounts. Okay. Either way, they both take a tremendous amount of capital and time to amass. Simple ratio is about four to one. Um, for every dollar you want to make, you're going to have to have at least a balance of four times that. Building up versus having now. Well, this is another one of those situations. I wouldn't worry so much about it because you can basically start out with a very small stake, even a part-time stake, and build it up to a full-time and help you get to that point of massing a huge amount of wealth. But it's never going to get there unless you do the learning, the training. If you don't have the tools, you have to amass the experience as well. And these are all very important. You're never going to get to those levels unless you do these particular things. Now you have found the results. What type of trader are you? Are you full-time, part-time? Do you want to be a senior trader? Final advice from me, Max Farrell. So I've been doing this for some time. I've been an entrepreneur and I've been doing trading now for several years and I've been working from home for many years. So what better person to learn from? My personal experience is that there's no quick fix. Okay. It all comes back down to, to those that want to put the effort and really try and learn and train and don't rush become the most successful. Those that really want to become a pro trader or make this a full-time career must know that it takes hard work and determination to really make it happen. And most of all, we are here to help you while you try to make it happen. I want to thank you and hopefully this was able to help you and I hope to see you in the next video.